Okay, this is it. Welcome to Tuno This Weekend Tuno Horoscopic Calendar. But this is gonna be Aries. So we want you to meet the clay hands or meet the number blocks. Let me show you something. This is Green Clay Hand. In March, you might have four leaf clover because this is lucky. Well, how lucky is it? Meet the number blocks. Three. I am three. I can juggle one, two, three balls. And I have one, two, three blocks. Isn't that fun? If I join the number block gang with us, you will see that right now. Because four is coming up next, huh? That's really great. See ya. And look at it is. It's La Bamba Samba, the fusion of the Mexican dancers. I mean, it's Aries. I ain't even I, Fran. Top four characters you want to meet, La Bamba Samba. Number one, Aries, Astro LOLology. Aries is one of the main characters in the Astro LOLology animated series. He appears to be in a skinny red humanoid with wool showing from his red hood. He wears a green long sleeve shirt with red shorts. He first appeared in the episode Slow Jam. In the 2018 series, he is voiced by Lestawan Zedjon, who also voiced Capricorn. He was under the name of Arion during the 2016 shorts. Number 2, Suja Light from Steven Universe. I like that! Ah! Light is a fusion of Emethus and Garland, oh, by extension, Ruby and Sapphire. She made a debut in Coach Steven. Number three, Obahita from Sesame Street. Say, could it be your turn? Ah, mi amo de herble. Obahita is a Spanish-speaking lamb who appears in the Murray Has a Little Lamb segment with Murray Monster on Sesame Street. She assists Murray by giving him three clues for what kind of school they are going to that day. She gives the clues in Spanish. After Murray repeats every word and asks what it means, she reveals what is an unaccepted way, such as having an item fall from the tree or appeared in a pizza box. When he finally guessed what kind of school they were going to visit, she repeats the title of school in Spanish. Number four, Krampus Khan. Those possessed by the Monroe's yokai end up hated by everyone for their negative attitude. Ooh, what is this? Artworks for Aries on Mixopolis Channel. Aries from F. Joe LOLology versus Lamy from Doc Big Stuffins. Looks like you need a cuddle, but since it's pandemic, self cuddle? La Bamba Samba's reaction to Viva Piranha. Not only there's a game called Viva Piranha, there used to be a live TV show on that as well. As someone who played this game for most of her childhood, I could safely say that Viva Piranha Pir Piñata is probably one of the best Xbox 360 games out there. It's a very unique game that allows you to explore and experiment with low interruption of flow. It's creative and very relaxing while still managing to be challenging. The piñata names, all piñatas are named after a certain type of candy or fruit, are also quite cute and give this game a bit of extra charm. There's also an endless number of secrets that you can discover by experimenting with your piñatas. If you feed a butterfly piñatas a colored flower, it will turn that color, etc. Also, the story is pretty cool. You can hear it firsthand in the first game by leveling up. It's honestly a shame how underrated this game is. I desperately hope they remake a series soon. It definitely deserves it. Mallow and Serena going to the supermarket. On sale, six Shopkins and a Yoke High. Featuring Apple Blossom, Silly Chili, Nettie Spaghetti, Strawberry Kiss, Cheesy, and Susie Sushi from Shopkins. And Strap Onion from UK Watch. Made of the horse cup a day like Aries. Fruits this days. Pokemon are ever going to play with them instead of eating them. Kaylee meaning sheep from World Loud. The next word quest take on the horse cup a day like Aries. Now for this one. I saw images of Word World 
magnetic tick plushes. They are used to make words. Say, maybe I can make the word world characters detachable? Don't worry, thankfully, they're not bloody. Haley's reaction to enter the dragon. That's right, I miss Dragon Man. Luckily, he's finally reunited with the Octoguard. Rest in peace, Bruce Lee! But his memory lives on this adventure of the young karate portage partaking in a martial arts tournament, seeking revenge for his sister's death. When two other martial artists partake in, Lee must take out the competition and defeat the vicious hand, whose criminal organization can spell trouble for everyone involved. With realistic fight scenes and amazing musical scores, this is a movie that all kung fu action movies got get their inspiration from. It may have been the last time Bruce Lee managed to grace the screen again, but it was a good way to send him off. And finally, the Spyro. Spyro in his Mega Ram form from Skylanders. Tune in next month for Chloe's take on Taurus. So, anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next month. Bye-bye.